Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel today. What's the fuss? Well, today I have for you a Walmart wax haul. I got two candles, and I got a couple wax melts, and I got some new, 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 new wax cubes, new to me at my Walmart. Never seen them before. Um... They didn't have a price on them, on the shelf. And when we went to the register to get them checked out, there was a problem there too. They weren't ringing up correctly. They kept ringing up zero dollars, zero cents. So after enough attempts of this, one of the workers that works as a, I'm not sure what they're called. Um, they're not outright cashier cashiers, but they don't check your groceries out for you, but they help you when you're doing self-checkout. Well, they went and they talked to a manager about it, and the manager just said, ring them up at a dollar a piece. So I know these are definitely more than a dollar a piece, but they weren't going to screw around anymore, so they just rang them up at a dollar for me. The reason I'm saying that is because they do have the candles by this name in the store, and they're either 8 or 12, something like that, ounces. There's a whole lot more other fragrances to this line. But they only had these two cents in the wax melts in my store. And the candles, as I was saying, they are twelve ninety seven plus tax. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. These are the wax melts. This here is called Glow. First thing that popped in my head was Jennifer Lopez with her fragrances called Glow and this and that. This has a very pale, pale pink background to this label. It's very clean, elegant, classic, but yet sophisticated at the same end. And... These are made by, it says, they're, they're calling them All's Well Wax Melts. They are made by a company down here called b, &B Acquisition Incorporation out of Utah. They, I don't know who pours these. I, I don't know here because there's an eight and usually rim ports starts with an eight that we're well aware of. So I, I don't know if they have anything to do with rim ports or not because it says SLC Utah. Well, anyway, the, fent no the scent notes on this is vanilla, pear, and coconut. Soy blended wax. Now, these do not stay together, these clamshells. They come in two pieces a lot like the the luminescence from candle warmers that we see in Walmart and other stores. It's two pieces. It is all soy blended white wax. It is filled pretty high. We got a little wrinkle in there, but that's no big thing. No big thing. Just a tiny little wrinkle. But they are filled extremely high. They are all soy. They are very, very strong. I also want to mention that if you take a regular clamshell, I'm just going to use this for demonstration purposes. Let me put the lid back on this one for just a second and turn this over and you're going to see. You can definitely already see the size of these all the way around and then this. They're both 2.51 ounces. It shows you that right here on the label. 2.5, 2.5. But the squares are wider this way and this way on these ones, but shorter, shorter pressing down. I'm not sure if my camera can catch this, but do you see the height? There's a difference in the height. So they're wider both directions, but the height and the depth of them is lower than Better Homes and Gardens or Sensational's plastic clamshell. And, of course, these ones 
stay together. This is a two-piece separation thing. So let me push this aside for just a moment. So as I was saying, we have lemon, I mean vanilla, pear, and coconut in these. And they are very, 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 very highly scented. Very highly scented. One cube of this is enough to last you for a lot of hours. A lot of hours. Yes, I do smell a pear, a clean, fresh pear type of a scent. Juicy, fresh pear. I smell vanilla, but it is... It's sweet. Almost like a powdered sugar vanilla. I smell coconut, but it is like a raw coconut. Not a beachy coconut. Not a sunscreen coconut. Not a candy coconut. A raw coconut. You just smashed open a coconut. Has that type of a coconut raw state. And I also get a perfumey note that smells of some kind of florals. A tiny little hint of musk. A little tiny hint of amber and sandalwood type of notes in here. And cashmere. These are so freaking strong, people. Oh, my God. I found them on a shelf in the regular wax aisle. Now, every Walmart is different. You can find these anywhere in the general merchandise area of the store because no two Walmarts put everything always in the same spot. So, you might find these on end caps. You might find them over actually in the wax original aisle. You might find them up front somewhere. God knows where you're going to find them and how many scents you're going to find. But as I'm telling you, they are very, 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 very fragrant. Extremely fragrant. And that's why I'm going to show you this here on the underside of the top label. It says here that um, this is like Printed in white, which is really good to see, and a little bit of black because of the barcode, but this is a lighter black. And I do have the flash on, but it is still not um, causing this to be darker on screen. It is very pale light when you're reading it from the underside of the label. Uh, it says, made in the USA with these highly scented soy blended wax melts are easy to use and bring fresh and inviting scents into your home. These melts can be melted time and time again until the fragrance is gone. It says remeltable soy blend wax and high fragrance load. They ain't can. They really did load these up. These are super duper 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 strong. Um, the caution is, you know, um, keep out of reach of children and pets and, and do not add water to wax. I don't know why anybody would even think about adding water to wax. Um, the wax will melt when warmed and store in a cool place. Prolonged contact with skin may cause irritation, uh, may stain fabrics and other surfaces. And there we have made in the USA again, distributed by B and B acquisition incorporation in Salt Lake City. That was when I said the S-L-I-L on the front right there, S-L-L, Utah down there. And there's a toll-free number to talk to them. So this eight maybe has nothing to do with rim ports at all, you know, because it's saying that's a different company. The company is the B&B acquisition so anyway and it's say it's in salt lake city where room ports is in um provo bravo however it's pronounced so yeah these are super duper strong and like i said th these are definitely more than a dollar just they couldn't get them to ring up right in their system 
and there was nothing on the shelf as far as the price tag. So I took two of them in the glow. Really like this scent. And these are going to last because, like they said, they are fragranced real heavy, and they're loaded up with tons of fragrance. So I got two of those for a buck a piece. I'm going to go back to the store and grab me a couple more of these um, this evening when my husband gets home from work because these are really pretty scents. They're very, very nice. Okay, now this one here is called Embrace. And again, the scent notes on this one is vanilla, sugar cane, and almond. And everything else is the same. And this has a off-white, light cream color uh, background to this label. And again, two pieces. Because they do not stay adhesed to each, you know, to each other. And we got the same information going on in this one. And it is an off-white cream type of a shade. Don't know how it's coming across on this camera, but anyway, it's not stark white, it's like a cream French vanilla shade. And yeah, this one is super duper, 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 duper strong, also. And I smell vanilla, but it's a little different than the vanilla in the glow. The glow one has a sweeter powdered sugar vanilla type of a smell. This one just smells like vanilla extract. I do get some kind of perfumey notes in here. Also something like, um, I don't get a floral in this. I don't get no flowers. I smell something like an amber. I wouldn't say sandalwood, but amber and some kind of perfumey note. I, I can't quite put my finger on what the perfuminess is, but. And I get that almond smell. I do get a sweetness, but not the same as that. This smells like powdered sugar down here, the glow. This one here just smells like vanilla extract. Some sugar, almond, perfuminess, and that raw sugar cane smell. It is also very, very nice. This it does not smell anything like Huntington Home from Aldi. Their white almond? No, this doesn't smell like that. This is more perfumed up. So... Very, very nice, and I was lucky to get them at a dollar a piece. Now, I also picked up some other wax melts, which I'm about to show you. I ended up with two more of these. This is the Mainstays Apple Buttered Rum, right here. This one is in what you call a medium brown color, and the store had lots of these. And this is apple rum, pear, and cinnamon. And dollar ten cents for these uh, each. And this one again smells a lot like I smell bakery cinnamon, almost like when you have a cinnamon roll or one of those. Um, pecan twirl things that you get six or eight in a package and you find them in grocery stores and some Dollar Tree sell them and um, any kind of um, place that sells like cupcakes in a hurry you know cupcakes buns those kind of things already wrapped in packaging from different places like Tasty Cake or um, Mrs. Freshly's and, and things like that those pecan twirl thingies so, um, the way the cinnamon smells in that, that's how the cinnamon smells in this. And I get that apple. It's like a baked apple with some cinnamon. It's a baked apple pie filling type of a smell. Or how you take apple pie filling out of a Lucky Leaf can or a Great Value can or 
you know, some company that packs packages and cans cinnamon apples for you to take the easy way out to make a pie or some kind of apple dessert. The way that smells in the can, that's how this smells. The apple cinnamony smell. I smell a little bit of like a vanilla that would be like that vanilla drizzle glaze that they're showing on the picture there of the um, cinnamon rolls. I do get a little bit of the boozy note. I can actually smell that alcoholicness of the rum. Yeah, this smells really good. It smells like apple-flavored cinnamon rolls. That's what it smells like. And I really like this one. It is stronger this year for, um, for some reason. They must have decided to, you know, throw extra juice in there, as they say, because, um... Last year, I had this a couple times when it first made its premiere, and I had a hard time smelling it. This year, no. It's jacked up a little more on fragrance. So I got two of those, picked up another one of these, because my store has tons of this every time I go in it. Um, this is the Mainstays Cran Cranberry Mandarin Spice. This is Citrus Cranberry and Spice. And these are 1.5 ounces each. These are half the size of a standard clamshell. And we have another pretty label on this one here. And we have oranges. We have cinnamon. We have nutmeg. We have um, cranberries. And we have some sprigs of um, some kind of greenery there. And this one here is in an orange color. Basically, they try to get it as close as possible to the color block square or the edging of the color block square because they also have like a different color. Do you see it's kind of, let me see if I can get this straight here. See it is a little lighter than line going around it but then the block itself is darker. Same thing on this one here. We have, let's see if I can get this here. We have a tan but the, the, the square, the line is a little bit lighter in color. So anyway, this one here, I, I just popped it there while I was showing you the line business. But this is already coming up the, out of the package from where it's laying in front of me here. And I can already smell the orangey and spiciness and the cranberry sweetness off of this. So as I was saying, it's an orangey yellow, uh, deep um, sunflower yellow type of a color. And... Yeah, this one, you have no problem smelling this. It, it, absolutely zero problem smelling this. It is a sweet orange. A juicy, juicy, sweet, sweet, sweet orange. Sweet cranberry also. Not a tart cranberry. Little bit of cinnamon. A bakery cinnamon. Not a red hot. But a whole lot of juiciness between the cranberries and the orange. Really juicy. Tiny little bit of nutmeg. But it's basically very juicy with the orange and the sweet cranberry. And then the nutmeg and cinnamon fall behind. I'm not getting any of these um, green sprig things right here that's on the label. I don't get any of that. But if you want to add... A greenery scent to this you can't main States has a number of them and so does better homes and gardens and sensations they have a number of the evergreen scents that you can mix with this if you want that or you can also mix this one with the better homes and gardens roasted chestnuts and acorns you can add those two together or a little of each of them all three things and create your own option just a small um, Piece. Now, I don't mean tiny, but I mean you can use probably a half a cube of one of these, just one of these cubes, one of the half, a half size of the cube of the Better Homes and Gardens, roasted chestnuts and acorns, and then throwing in a half of a cube, again, of an evergreen scent of your choice. So... You can do a lot of mixology.
if your warmer dish is large, you can just probably toss in two of these and then two full size cubes of the other scents or one or however you want to do it because you need to allow some space. You don't want to drown the scent. Your dish has to be big enough for it to accommodate the amount of wax but without flooding it and drowning it. Okay, so then, because I know some warmers have a large dish and some barely have enough room that you can just get one cube in and still have some space or a dish that has enough space where you can get two cubes in and still have some space. But I've seen warmers that have humongous dishes on where you, you can get up to three, four cubes and still have space. A lot of space. So it um, permeates because if it's full all the way, the dish, you're going to have a hard time smelling the fragrance. You can't drown it out. Okay, so as everyone knows who watches my channels, for this fall 2023 from Better Homes and Gardens, they came out with something like 10 cents um, just a few weeks ago, kind of late getting them out. If you ask me, I think they should have been out on the shelves a little sooner. But um, these are just plain label ones. There's nothing fancy about them. They're just all colored, a solid color, and then the wording. Everyone knows that the Better Homes and Gardens Orange Zest and Brown Sugar is my favorite from that entire collection. I've talked about this a lot, and my store had tons of this over the last two or three weeks when they did finally get them on the shelves. And I had bought them two or three times already from there. Each time I went in, I picked a couple. And I had mentioned that in one of my videos that I don't think a lot of people liked this scent because there was, it, there was always enough of it remaining. Well, last night was a different story. When I went to the aisle up in Housewares, the beginning of Housewares, when you first come in on the general merchandise side of the store, usually those first few racks up there is where they put the seasonal business, which is the um, fall merchandise, and Christmas is going down into the garden center and just slightly out of the garden center. And then we have up where cards and everything is going more towards almost the grocery side of the store. That is where they got all the Halloween got stuff going on. Costumes, decorations, candy, snacks, you name it. But they'll eventually be pushing that out eventually and they'll be sticking more either late fall, um, Thanksgiving kind of stuff. They might shove that up where the Halloween is once Halloween is over, or maybe they just might not put anything there except for shoving Christmas, more Christmas stuff up there. They'll keep it in the garden center, but they'll also shove it up that way by the cards. So, <clears throat> as I was saying, everyone knows I love this scent. I am obsessed with this scent. But when I went in the store last night, this was the only pack left in this scent, and I grabbed it. It was gone. So I'm going to have to go to another Walmart. Um, I have about four or five of them still within, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes away from me. All different things like that, but no more than 30. Um, if I go further than 30, I'd probably run into probably another five or six of them. But I don't plan on going that far. So I'm going to have to look in Dollar General. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to look at another Walmart for some more of this. But I got the last one last night. And I love this scent. And this is also in what I call a creamsicle orange color. It is different from the cranberry mandarin spice one. See, it's different. And, oh, there's another one coming up. So anyway, and I'll show you that again when we get there. So... My foot is starting to fall asleep, people, my ankle, because my legs are crossed on the floor. Okay, so this one here, the orange zest, the lemon, the cinnamon sticks, the brown sugar, the butter, the vanilla. Yes, you get it all. But these are two forty eight, And like I said, this was the last one on the shelf. And I just love this freaking scent. Oh, my God. To me, it smells like a creamsicle. 
an orange creamsicle, an orange blossom, whatever they, they call them in your area. And I'm having a hard time getting this open because I don't know what I'm doing here. And this just smells of orange creamsicle. Oh, so creamy. It smells like you literally opened up a box of Popsicle brand orange creamsicles. But there's something a little bakery-ish in here. It's a little tiny bit of this warmth. Could be the cinnamon doing that. Smell that brown sugar. I do smell the lemon, but I do definitely smell the orange. Orangey zest. Oh, this is so freaking good, people. I love it. I can't get enough of it. I really, really, truly can't. If this came in just a fragrance oil, like, you know, how uh, Better Homes and Gardens in Walmart sells the fragrance oil bottles, if they had this scent in that, and it was totally 100% safe, safe, as far as consumption went, I'd drink this damn thing. That is how freaking good of it. It is. It kind of reminds me almost of an orange Julius. How foamy, orangey that thing is. Oh, my God. It reminds me of one of those, too. I literally can just... I would drink this, and I would pour some, actually, in the goddamn bathtub. Because it, it is so freaking good. I can't get enough of it. I have a friend, a male friend from one of the wax groups. He's obsessed with this scent, too. He is obsessed with it. Can't get enough of it like me. <coughs> okay. Now, I also got this one for the first time. And, of course, it was the last wax melt of this one. Also, they, it was gone. I was lucky to get the one. I passed it up many other times. But last night when I seen the one and only left, I thought I better just grab it. This one here is the Better Homes and Gardens. Better Homes, we got a little tiny hair here sticking to this label. Okay, Better Homes and Gardens Pumpkin Frappe. This is pumpkin spice, cinnamon, espresso beans, and vanilla. And the label is a different shade of that yellow orangey thing. This one's a little more brighter, this one's a little more warmer. And the wax on this one is. This is the pumpkin frappe one right here. It is more... Mm, it's the brightest of the three. This would be the cranberry mandarin spice from Main State. This is super bright. This is a little more subdued. And this is more orange creamsicle color. So anyway, on an orange kick... And an apple kick yet. So, this one here, as I read the scent notes to you, this one here is a strong one. It is freaking strong when you open this up. I get a tiny little bit of a pumpkin smell. It's not straight out full pumpkin. There is a slight sweetness to this, but a soft sweetness. It's not sweet, sweet like candy or other... Um, juicy fruit scents that are sweet. It's not as sweet as that either. It's just a tiny little bit. Like somebody had said, give me one sugar or a half a sugar if you were making a cup of coffee or tea or something. Like one lump. That would be it. It's just slightly sweet. I do not smell the pumpkin heavily. It's very light on the pumpkin. I do smell some bakery cinnamon. I smell a little bit of vanilla. But I smell a whole lot of those espresso beans. Oh, yeah. Not coffee that was roasted um, and percolated in a percolator or a Keurig or even a French press. No. This smells like when you go into a giant coffee shop where they're actually not only serving coffee and lattes and fraps and all that, but they have displays behind the counter or somewhere in the shop where you can purchase 
and scoop out other than prepackaged bags of the actual coffee beans. That's what it smells like. It smells like the beans are being roasted right there. In some shops, they probably are. And that's what gives it that warm, inviting smell. And even if you're not a coffee lover, you can't tell me that that scent isn't inviting and warm. And it might make you want to go in there and get even a small, freshly brewed coffee from fresh roasted beans. That is what it smells like. And that smell gets me every time. And I am a coffee drinker, but I am not an obsessed person with coffee drinking. I do have coffee. And I like my coffee hot sometimes, and sometimes I like it mixed into lattes and things like that that I get when I'm out or at home. I even make my own, just re not just regular hot coffee. I actually make my own fraps and my own um, lattes and things. I, I experiment with that area of um, taste and fragrance also. So, I have two candles for you, and... Let's just jump right over to those now. Okay, this is my second one. I got two of these now so far, and I'm already planning, and this weekend's not even over. <laughs> it just barely started, and I'm already worried about next weekend. I'm going to be getting a third one of these come next weekend. This is the main stage chocolate peppermint bark. This is peppermint, sugar cane, and chocolate. 14 ounces. These are wraparound labels. And I want to let everyone know these are textured. You can feel the swirliness of the red being higher and the white being lower on this label. You can feel this. These are not only wraparound, they are textured labels. They come with a gold... I don't know, a little dust or something on there. Um, a gold brushed lid, not mirror, brushed. And they are 14 ounces. It tells you that right there on the front. But it also tells you that at the very bottom of the bottom label. There are no scent notes listed this way, but we just read them because they're right there on the front label. This here is all white wax. It's all white. Par, um, parasoy it is soy and a little bit of paraffin buttery smooth and soft three wicks no problem they are not what you call too too skinny but they're not what you call too too thick they're just right as Goldilocks would say or the bears so the thing here is this is strong when you take that lid off of that it hits you in the face it is super duper strong. If it does not hit you on the face when you are in the store and try to get yourself to remember this, take your finger and go around the wax like this to break the seal from when it first um, hardened after pouring. Sometimes the seal will be broke. Sometimes the seal won't be broke. If it's broke, you're definitely going to smell that scent. If it's not, just give it a little rub. It's not going to hurt anything. You don't have to gouge your fingers in and destroy it. Just rub it a little bit to break that top seal and you're going to smell this scent. This smells exactly like candy canes, but there's that chocolate note in there. And I like pe peppermint Candy of all kinds, Andy candies, peppermint patties, and, and anything with peppermint. But I like it with a chocolate, whether it be milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate, or even a chocolate mousse or a white chocolate mousse, or even a vanilla yogurt coating when you see that on pretzels and other kinds of candies like raisins and stuff. That is how I like my peppermint. I, I just cannot take straight up peppermint, though. It is too nauseating for me. It is too strong, too nauseating. Kind of reminds me of Pepto Bismol in some way. But, um, no, when it's mixed with a chocolate or a yogurt coating, I like it better. So, there's another thing I'm going to tell you right now. That on the website, depending on where you live, when you enter your zip code to get onto your Walmart website, some places are charging 
$5.97 on the website. Some are charging more than $5.97. Same thing in the store. Location, location, regional, regional is what it comes down to. My first chocolate peppermint bark candle, I bought 20 minutes by car away from my home. And I ended up paying $6.97 for it. The one I got last night, which is this one, in my local Walmart, which is five minutes up the damn hill in a car, I paid $5.97. So, between the website and going into stores, it's take a dollar one way or another on the website or even your store. I don't know why they do that other than what I just said, regional. So... Yes, I got two of these now, and this smells freaking good, people. Yeah, it smells like you just opened up a peppermint patty by York or any other company, Zachary's or whoever, or Palmer's, or even higher-end chocolate companies that make um, chocolates of any kind. It's And it smells like the regular box of Andy Candy Cream de Mints. It is so freaking good. I also smell powdered white sugar in here. Not granulated sugar. The white powdered sugar smell that you sprinkle, you know, um, over cakes and pies or um, fried dough, that kind of stuff. Or if you're using it in a recipe when you're making fudge or making icing from white 10x powdered sugar. That smell, yes, you can smell that in here. You can smell that powdered sugar smell. You smell the chocolate. The chocolate is a good chocolate smell. It smells just like I'm telling you, like you opened up a peppermint patty and you got that peppermint and chocolate taste, that dark chocolate. Or it smells like you opened up Andy's Candies, Cream de Mints. It is freaking good. There's no problem smelling this. Mm mm. I've had this scent last year um, under Mainstays with a different label. I also had it in, I can't remember. I know what the label looked like. I just can't remember. I know Candle Warmers has one. Here's a little bit of chocolate. Better Homes and Gardens had a peppermint mocha something or other that was part of the $1 Black Friday clamshells. That one had a little bit of coffee in it, but it did have the peppermint cocoa. That one kind of smelled like this also. But Mainstays himself had candles with the chocolate. But there's a... And then I had D&D &D from Hobby Lobby, which they have a frosty mocha mint. It's in a brown, light brown colored wax that you can get in Hobby Lobby. That also has that peppermint milk chocolate combo and um I, you don't even really smell the coffee in that one it, it's called frosty chocolate mocha that is a chocolate peppermint smell also it is very good from hobby lobby from darcy and david which is dnd &D. and i'm trying to remember who else I know there's someone here, but a good chocolate peppermint combination. I'm sure Goose Creek and Bath and Body Works and all those probably make something very similar to this. But sometimes people don't make chocolate well um, in fragrance for candles and wax. Yankee Candle did. I thought they did an excellent job executing chocolate scents. But they also have chocolate peppermint things that you can um, get from the past with someone selling them. Or whatever they're coming up with for this year in chocolate peppermint. I know Village Candle did also. But yeah, this is very, very freaking good. And I got two now. And I'm working on three. I'm already thinking about three. Yeah, love this type of a scent. Um, Thanksgiving evening, after you've had the turkey and the stuffing and all that business. And also all through the month of December, including Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. If you are not a person who likes um, evergreen type of scents and you're more into the candy and um, beverage type things, this would be good. Or maybe even want to mix it with a little evergreen scents. Have an evergreen candle scent because they have those. I think there's three different ones that I've seen in a store under the Mainstays rep 
textured label that's out this year. I've seen one that was called Winter Woods. I've seen another one that is called um, Something Evergreens. And there was another woody one. There was three that I've seen. But there's a blue one that I'm all... I was talking and my camera just shut the hell off. Okay. I was saying there's a blue one. A light baby blue label one. I think there's one with a dark blue label, but there's a light baby blue one wraparound label like this in this collection. I can't remember what the hell it's called. Snow flurries? I think it's called snow flurries. It's a baby blue one. That has some peppermint in it, but it also has a eucalyptus in it. And I can't remember what the other scent was. I think it just said ozone. And it, I think there's a tiny little bit of a citrus in there, but it's called Snow Flurries. I'm interested in picking that one up also. But as I was saying, if you're not a person or you are a person, whether you like evergreen scents or not, or cranberries or whatever, or you just want this alone, you can mix this with other candles. Um, if you do not want to light these, of course, you can just scoop this out because this wax is that soft enough to just scoop some out, throw it in your wax warmer. But, um... If you do not plan on using it as a candle, um, you can also melt this down with its lid on in a water bath and pour it out into some silicone molds or old ice cube trays and make wax melts that way from it just the same. And, you know, glitz them up a little bit with some glitter if you choose to. But, um, yeah, this is a very, very good one. And anything, any company that makes a good chocolate peppermint and as I was saying about the chocolate some people they have a lousy chocolate um, fragrance mixed with their uh, peppermint scents or just chocolate by itself maybe chocolate bunnies or chocolate chicks or whatever and it's a lousy chocolate it's just like when you consume stuff there's good chocolate and then there uh, good chocolate taste and then there's the Oh, my God, the poorest quality. I mean, very, very, very poor quality where it, it tastes so bad you actually have to spit it out. But, yeah, if you are a person who likes chocolate and peppermint, I wouldn't wait on this. Grab it when you see it in your Walmart. Okay, now we have this one here, which I got this one, and I might get another one or two of these, too, because I kind of like this one. Now, this one here also has a wraparound label. It is mainstay. It does have the gold brush lid on this also. I think they all come with a gold brush lid. This here is a wraparound label, and it is in what I would call um, a very light cream right here, like this being the light cream where I'm rubbing my finger over, where the little darker shade looks almost like um, a light cement color. That's what I would call light cement. So it is like a light, very pale gray, light cement shade. And then this here is more of a light cream color. And this one is also completely wrapped around all the way. And it does come with white soy wax, just the same. Nice wicks. They're the same wicks that's on that one. Not too thick, not too thin, just perfect. And the scent notes on this one read as almond, nutmeg, and vanilla. 14 ounces, just the same. Again, bomb label does not contain this, um, the scent notes, just its title. Also telling you it's 14 ounces. And this one here smells to me like... I can definitely smell that nutmeg. That is different from cinnamon. I do not smell cinnamon in here, but I do smell nutmeg. I do smell vanilla. And I smell almonds. Now, this white almond nutmeg does not smell anything like Aldi's Huntington Homes white almond that everybody is nuts over. And I mean a lot of people are nuts over that thing, including myself. No, this smells different from that white almond. This one smells, there's a tiny, ever so little bit of a sweetness to this because of that vanilla. It is not sugary in any way. 
It is true crushed raw almond smell. And to me, it smells like I'm, I keep thinking of croissants with almond slivers on them. It smells like a very light bakery item, uh, kind of like a croissant that doesn't have a whole lot of fragrance to it, or some kind of puff pastry with slivered almonds on and the slightest little bit of a vanilla sweetness to it and just a dash of that nutmeg. It is not in any way super duper strong. You can smell it, but it is not meant to be. I don't know, this camera keeps shutting off. As I was saying, you can definitely smell it. There's not a problem smelling it. I'm just telling you that it's not meant to be a loud, up-in-your-face type of a scent. It is like a soft, delicate, puff pastry type of a fragrance with just a slice little bit of vanilla and some slivered almond pieces over it. So you can smell it. It's just not meant to be a loud fragrance. So I hope it performs well, too. But I really like the way it smells on cold. Oh, yeah, it's got that warm, inviting type of a smell to it. But like a light pastry. Like a pastry is supposed to be light in its scent. It's not like you're smelling cheesecake. It's not like you're smelling peppermint. It's not like you're smelling chocolate. It's a light, flaky, puff pastry type of a dessert. So that's what I have for you. And I will be going to Walmart this evening when hubby gets the hell home. Because he did have to go in very, very early today, but he'll get out early. And then we're shooting right out to a Walmart somewhere and probably go get something to eat somewhere. Since I'm not going to be making or holding supper, it'll be... We're just better off going to get something to eat. And throw in the Walmart run at the same time. Otherwise, we might get out of here later if we if I serve supper yet. So, until I see you all again, everyone, be good, be kind, keep your spirit up, and I'll talk to you real soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're watching me for the first time and you like my content, smash that subscription button and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And I have two more... Coles candles to review for use and they will be following this video so until I see you all again like I said be good everyone enjoy the rest of your weekend so long bye bye